Hello, my name is Moongat and welcome back to another beta recap. This one we don't have too many topics, but we do have some big ones. So let's jump into it. We have some daily change logs, a little bit about the summer event, a little bit more on the fellowship event, and the first look at the soccer cup uh, coming up after that. So daily change logs, not really too much happened. We had some bug fixes. Uh, this one you probably already know, but on live there were some issues with the wildlife event on the final day. Uh, you couldn't complete quests, so because of that they extended the event by a day. Hopefully everybody got what they wanted still. Uh, then on Thursday, uh, some terrains on the battlefield were not displayed for various ages. This has been fixed. That's quite interesting. Uh, I don't I, <laughs> I don't really manually fight too much so I don't haven't noticed anything but uh, terrain uh, does play a decent role uh, especially in lower ages when it comes to the units uh, and how they interact with it the movement and so on so this could potentially have some I wouldn't say big changes but it might impact uh, some uh, battles uh, a little bit you might take a little bit more a little bit less damage and so on don't really know the details but uh, I thought it was worth mentioning then on Friday, first of all, birds could fly backwards. <laughs> we have taught them how to fly properly. So if you have animations on, sometimes birds will fly back and forth. Apparently they were <laughs> flying the opposite direction. Um, and it was possible that the battle tutorial did not work. It will now always work. Uh, not something I have experienced, but uh, that's uh, quite a big deal if you are starting the game. And if the tutorial doesn't work, you can't really progress. So yeah. Thankfully, that has been up, uh, has been fixed. If you have been affected, that should no longer be the case. So that's it for the daily change logs. Not really a lot, as I mentioned. For the summer event, again, not a lot. Uh, this was kind of implied with one of the bug fixes earlier, or one of the updates here. Uh, but because there was an issue where you didn't get enough level 1 of the main building, uh, if you spent diamonds, uh, they went ahead and adjusted the grand prices, but only for the live servers. Um, so just wanted to mention that again, that the grand prices uh, and event pass will be slightly different uh, on live. I don't expect there to be any big changes early on, and I don't think this will impact uh, how easy it is to get the main building fully leveled, at least the first one, uh, but it might mean that any guides you see before the event uh, will not be completely accurate. I don't think it'll be a big deal, but just keep that in mind. Uh, I will be uploading my uh, guides soon, uh, or my guide soon, shouldn't take too long before that is out. And if there is any big updates, I will make an update video after the event goes out on the live server. Uh, but yeah, just so you know, there are some slight changes to the grand prices compared to beta. All right. Let's go to the big stuff, the spoiler section, starting with the fellowship event. Uh, we don't have too much new. Uh, we did know much uh, of this last uh, time, last week. Uh, but we have a new background here for the St. Patrick's Day uh, game. So you will be collecting on this side, transporting on the road here, and then you'll probably have the different productions over here. So. The equivalent of hats, flowers, ooh, let me see if I can remember, uh -huh. drinks, or is this drinks, uh, drinks and fireworks, and hey, you get it. So yeah, it'll be the same, we will have, uh, we actually have them here. So bakery, battery, drinks, farm, merchant, carriage, and then banquet, feast. So they will be on, on this uh, layout here. So same layout, just different uh, <laughs> graphics. We also have a lovely loading screen, which uh, again looks really nice. The art department, as usual, doing a really good job. We have some info screens as well. So prepare, prepare for a fellowship event. Prepare the gray, uh, the grand fellowship event. Utilize diverse production buildings to supply the impressive grand banquet. Collect these provisions to upgrade buildings and unveil a new business. So this is the equivalent to pots of gold. Uh, no, wait, no, <laughs> to shamrocks. And then we have gemstones, which are the pots of gold. Uh, earn gemstones through this, uh, through quests. Hire overseers, so managers, for buildings to automate and boost efficiency. Level up overseers for even greater benefits. 
complete tasks to win grand prizes, nothing new there. Every completed task brings you closer to a magnificent grand prize. Finish all, finish all tasks, start a new banquet for fresh tasks and more rewards on the way. Yeah, okay, so if you finish all the tasks in a town, just start a new one. So nothing new there, same mechanic as the St. Patrick's Day event. We have a league though, which is new, and that's definitely very interesting. Unveiling league rewards for the magnific Magnificent Fellowship event, accomplish countless tasks, and ascend the league rankings. So, the league will be based around tasks. And if you remember from last week, I talked about the fact that if we get fragments for the main building from this one by one building, now depending on where this is placed in the uh, task line, in the grand, uh, grand price line, uh, you might have to focus on completing a lot of towns uh, and you might not be able to do the chill strategies where you only do three or four or five towns across the event. We don't know, we'll have to see, but if both this and the league are based on tasks, uh, it might mean that you have to put a little bit more effort in um, if you want to get the most out of the event. But we will know that more when the event goes live, and that should be this upcoming week. Uh, the summer event ended around two weeks ago, and I think, so definitely time this week. Uh, anyways, moving on. Maximizing banquet productivity for the path to prosperity through building investments and astute overseer management. So same mechanics there. You get managers, upgrade them for higher production, and you also level up the buildings for higher production. Um, so yeah, seamlessly navigate the intricacies of feast provision logistics, ensuring optimal supply chain efficiency and seamless transportation. Journeying through time's sand. Uh, for the path to prosperity through building investment. Oh, that's the same on a share. So yeah, likely not finalized yet, but the same thing with the hourglass. Uh, I don't remember, is that? I don't remember what it's called on the St. Patrick's event, but you can buy uh, time boosts. Uh, likely not worth it, but of course we will have to see if it is. Um, and that's all the new stuff, so nothing really new, just some confirmation of what we already know, knew. Uh, the big one is definitely the leagues, the fact that leagues are based on tasks, uh, which uh, yeah will definitely be interesting to see when the event starts, likely next week. Alright, then we move on to the biggest update this week, the Merge Cup or Soccer Cup. Uh, I think it'll probably be called the Soccer Event still, or Soccer Cup Event, uh, whatever it was called in the past. Uh, in uh, in the code, in the asset names, they are called Merge Cup, and that is because, well, the minigame will be the same as the anniversary event, which is quite surprising if you ask me. That means that we have, uh, starting with the St. Patrick's Day event earlier this year, we have St. Patrick's Day event, anniversary event, wildlife event, a nice break with the summer event, but then St. Patrick's Day event again, and then anniversary event again. Who knows, next might be another wildlife event. Uh, but yeah, that's very interesting. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. Let's just first go through the assets we have so far. So here we have the board, same size, I believe, as the uh, anniversary event. Uh, 5 by 10, or 10 by 5. We have the gems, which are kind of like the player cards in the past. We have different levels of them. So one, two, three, and four stars. The keys are these shields here. Uh, bottom and, well, it's probably not called bottom and top, or it is in the asset, but um, I will definitely call them left and right uh, part of the key. Uh, so that's uh, what you'll be working towards to get the keys, to open chests, and so on. We have all the same stuff. Uh, energy, uh, it's still called energy, but that's probably the currency. It will probably be renamed. We have progress for the grand prizes. We have the cheat sheet, which is this one here, exactly the same uh, as the um, anniversary event, just new graphics. I believe all of these are exactly the same rewards as well. Uh, we have the reset button, converter, spawner, and the uh, two times background for the chests. So probably the first chest of the day will be uh, give you double the rewards. Ooh. And here you have three different types, probably bronze, silver, and gold. And you have... Uh, uh, I don't remember if this is the... It's the same graphics here, so I don't know, but it might be the event pass. 
Uh, anyways, it's uh, we have some chests as well. So, wow, that's quite a big one. <laughs> we have yet another anniversary event. So let's talk a little bit about uh, the fact that they are reusing these events and doing it so uh, soon after the original event. So, as I mentioned, uh, we had started with St. Patrick's Day event, then anniversary, then wildlife. We have a nice break with the summer event, but then it's right back to the beginning, beginning again. The fellowship event will be the St. Patrick's Day event, and then now the soccer event will be the anniversary event. So, what do we think about that? Uh, I have uh, kind of mixed feelings about it. I probably no surprise. I quite like these uh, more complex events, strategy focused events, but I do think it's a little bit too much to have all of these in a row. If it weren't for the summer event, it would be five of these complicated events in a row. Uh, I also don't like that they are reusing them. Uh, I would much rather have new events, new complex events. That would be fun to try to figure out strategies and all of that for uh, brand new events. That's uh, one of the parts I like the most about the game. Uh, probably no surprise. So that would be a lot of fun. But the fact that they are reusing, uh, it means... Well, it depends on the balancing, of course, but it probably means that, at least from my part, um, the guides and so on will be much easier to make, which I guess is a bonus, but not really what I enjoy about the game. What I enjoy is theory crafting, figuring out how to actually play the events, and if it's just the same one again, don't really like it. Uh, and I also know that uh, the more casual players, well, probably not uh, too big of a fan of all of these events where you're basically forced to play, not necessarily every day, but very often. And I think that's probably the reason why they are focusing on these events. Uh, it uh, forces players to be more engaged with the events, uh, log in daily or more often, play the event more often, and that's, uh, I suppose that's helping them um, retain players perhaps, uh, pr probably increase the spending of the players and so on. Um, and that's uh, they must have some data to back that up, otherwise I don't see why they would uh, keep on doing these complex events. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, and specifically for this one, we don't really know anything about the event pass yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if they are keeping the mechanic that they will probably introduce here, where they have two event passes in the fellowship event, uh, and likely, uh, based on... No, so there's some text we have so far, probably $15 for the silver pass and then another $15 for the gold pass or $25 for both of them. So increasing the monetization and also probably by uh, forcing players to play more, uh, which isn't a bad thing in and of itself, uh, but uh, yeah, by doing that they also probably increase the uh, monetization, which must be their goal. Of course it is their goal. Uh, but that must be uh, the date that they have must back that up. So what do you guys think? Personally, as I've just gone over, I'm quite mixed. Quite mixed. On one side, I like it. On the other side, um, it's a bit much. So it is what it is. Uh, I think that's all I have for this video. But before I end, let me thank my Patreons for their support. I would like to thank Homstar, Lorden, Kim Kelly, Prof. of the Eighth, Dan Simonad, Chanti, Hecate, Dark Matter, Mylia, Sarah K, Merrick B, Hugo Kant von Kant, Drew the Genres, Susan Weiss, Rocco, Sparkman and Remorse, Marathon Emrys, Travis the Avenger, Ashborn, Arkler, Nova, Jibber, Ninja Alin, Whiskey Meister, Henrik Darkleber, Mattia, Adarel, Mike, Up to the Obsessed, Atomic, Ruth, Karen, Flavis Beltarius, Dennis, Stampe, and Potter. Thanks a lot for your support. Thanks for watching, take care, and I will see you in the future.